It's so important to learn about cultures outside of ourselves because this is what defines being American. America doesn't define as citizens as much as its citizens define America. Hi, I'm Daniel Day Kim. I'm an actor and producer. And I like watching content that is informative, educational, and entertaining because I'm always looking to make sense of what's happening in current events. And Eyes on the Prize, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver and Takeout with Lisa Ling give us a look at history that maybe we haven't been afforded before. The students sat in as planned. The police did nothing to protect them. Eyes on the Prize is a documentary series that focuses on the civil rights movement of the 50s and 60s. And it is really an in-depth, unflinching view of the events that happened and characterized that time. When you look at the American civil rights movement, when I grew up, it was maybe a subheading in the chapter of my history book. But it was such a significant time in our country's past that it deserves to have a cinematic treatment to it the way that Eyes on the Prize does actually give it. All of these images I find so moving and so relatable to what we're going through today. People are finally starting to realize that we wear our race on our face. It's true. Under a system of white supremacy, we do tend to wear our race on our face. Last Week Tonight is one of the few shows that I make an effort to watch every week. What I really like about John Oliver as a host is that he's funny in a way that is incredibly self-deprecating. My face, for example, is currently wearing Down Market Vintage Colonial Casual. I'd change it into something a little less imperial if I could, but I can't, so instead I wear these glasses. His segments are often very informative, they're very well researched, and they did a segment on the rise of violence toward Asian Americans. But I'm not exaggerating when I say theirs was one of the most comprehensive pieces that I saw. And for that to be coming from a comedy show says something. Mochi is the thing that we eat after, you know, special events. Yummy. Take Out with Lisa Ling is a show that explores American culture through food and different ethnic groups that we may have overlooked in the past. Lisa does a great job of talking about food and using it as an entry point to bigger topics. The story of Asians in America. He said that you're the only Japanese restaurant left in Boyle Heights. I particularly like the one that took place in Boyle Heights because I spent so much time here and that was a community I had no idea about. So the fact that she could make you see the city where you've been living for such a long time in a new light is a surprising joy. I feel like with all the negativity around the violence that's affected Asian Americans, I think it's equally important, if not more so, to celebrate who we are. And that's what this show is about. What I really love about these three titles is that they provide a perspective on our history and our culture today that maybe we haven't seen before. And if it can allow us to see America and what defines America in a slightly different light, then that's a testament to the power of entertainment. 